Hey my friend and fellow trader, it's Will here over at Pips and Gains. I'm back again with another trading setup and analyst video. Today we're going to be looking at a setup I posted on my trading view profile yesterday on the British Pound uh, Swiss franc. In the video, we're going to just basically going to break the idea down and the reasons why I think you should be looking for a buy here and a sell there with this trading pair for the potential of banking several hundred uh, pips. So before we actually get into the good stuff, if you are new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed it, simply hit the subscribe button now. Show your support for the channel so I can keep on creating videos like this. Share my near 15 years experience in the FX markets. Hopefully help you become a better, more consistent, profitable trader. So let's head over to TradingView. Uh, we're starting to build a nice following over there. We're approaching 1,500 followers in the space of a few months, which is excellent. And first off, this is the trading idea I posted. It is on the British pound Swiss franc, false breakout or breakdown towards 106. And I'm basically going to show you what we're looking at here. If you want to get the written version, have a quick read over it, you can head over to Trading View and to search for my profile. There will be a link in the description area of this video. Search for it, the FX Ace, and it'll be the latest post. So make sure when you're reading it, you hit that like button just to give it a wee boost to show your support. So let's head over. I'm just going to remove all the drawings and what we're going to be looking here. Just make sure that's added to the chart. We are, and we'll just hide the indicator. So, if you are new to the channel and you don't know how I actually break down the markets, I take a top down approach. Uh, we look f to see what is happening on the higher time frames. We look for areas where the markets have uh, sold off or from or been uh, heavily bought from before, and then we zoom into the lower time frames to see how we can actually benefit from trading inside these areas. So monthly charts here is the first uh, port of call. Now, a couple of key areas to point out. We've had this support around about 110,500 that has been holding most of the year. We've got the breakdown last week. The market is currently on the monthly charts is currently sitting under that support. And <clears throat> be interesting to see where this is going to uh, close up this month. We also have another support here at 109. And we have the top of the range. Okay, we've closed the range here. And then the top of the range here, you just want to put in these highs. So that is the kind of boundary at the minute. These on the British pound Swiss franc on the monthly charts. If we zoom into the lower, into the weekly time frames, what we're gonna notice now, we just wanna kinda, we have this huge by demand area here. Now, I can't really draw the whole, we'll have to draw the wick, as it is, the whole candles are pretty big, but we can see that the market pushed all the way down here on this month and then rallied all the way up. So the, this was the area where initially we had a huge buying pressure last year. And down and ar around here, we should see if the market breaks down, this would be a really good area to uh, uh, buy again for a long-term move all the way up. Weekly charts, we, we've already marked this support here. We'll just mark that as green there. Just color code it, it's a lot easier to see. We can see the market broke down last week and more or less hit that support and it's been kind of sitting around there ever since. So what we want to see happen, if we look at the, we want to see the market pull back up. There's two scenarios here that can really happen. If we look at the, the daily charts here, you can kind of see that strong support that was break, broken out from on Friday. We got the huge move down down to the next support, 109, and we see the market has reacted here. 
What I want to see happen to get back in on a sell, possible sell trade idea, which is the idea I posted on TradingView, is a move back up to the breakout area. So we want to see a, the market move back up towards 110,500 and then look for sell signals to get the, play the market down towards this huge uh, buying area down here. And what you really want to see happening on the lower time frames as the market uh, comes up to this area. You can already see it's forming some sort of resistance here. But what I want to see is the market come back up. It might come back, move up like this. So we get a move there. I move down, then a rally up towards that resistance or a new resistance or support. And you want to see on the lower time frames some sort of resistance being built here. Then you want to see a uh, attempt to break back up through that uh, previous support now, which now should act as resistance. And then that act like a false breakout and then for the breakdown like this. So possibly a move and then. I move back and I move above that resistance and then I close back, a quick close back under it with a sell signal on the TRFX King indicator. So you want to see the market rally up towards this level, start forming some sort of resistance, attempt to break back up through the resistance level, 110,500. A quick close back under it like this and then wait for a sell signal when you get this false breakout of the resistance a sell signal on the trfx king indicator i will share with you how to access it absolutely free at the end of this video and then this should that happen that occurs and you get a good sell signal on a four hour daily uh, time frame then this should be an excellent move down towards 106 It'll possibly move down like this. Reacting there. We will see how that occurs. Now, for this trade to be invalidated, it's going to be interesting to see where this closes at the end of this month. Because the market could... We get a strong rally up here and a monthly close, monthly or weekly close back above 110,500. Then the likelihood that we're just going to stay back in this range and this is a false breakout and we're not going to see the move down to 106. So that will invalidate the move. Like I said previously, what we want to see on the lower time frames, preferably the one hour chart, is the market move back up towards that new resistance, previous support at 110,500 and form some sort of resistance like this attempt to break through it then it breaks up through it and quickly reverses back down through it and then wait for a sell signal the rfx indicator for a move down towards 106. if this doesn't happen we just get the clean break up weekly close or monthly close above 110.5 then the trade is invalidated so that is the idea, that is the sort of price action that I'm looking for. Now this might occur, this kind of uh, pattern might occur, might, might occur a little bit below the one, the resistance area. Uh, it's the kind of what you want to be seeing, uh, some sort of resistance being formed, then an attempt to break up through it and a quick reversal to close back under it and then the sell signal and maybe on a four hour daily chart. So that is the trading idea. You can head over to uh, Trading View and actually read it. If you read it here, if we do get the breakdown towards 106, then this huge area here to, between 106 and let's get the weekly chart up here. This huge area between 106 and 101, 500 pip uh, range in here will be a good area to start looking for uh, buying signals if this move actually uh, occurs. If we get the close back above the range, 
back above the resistance our previous support 110.5 then preferably you could wait for a daily signal on a close and then have a and their buy signal to target the top of the range up towards 114 or 115 so we're going to see it's going to be interesting to see this plays out in the coming week and weeks ahead and see where it closes by the end of the trading month you can head over and actually read the setup here and to access the trfx indicator to look for signals absolutely free there will be a link in the description of this video basically it's just quick instructions to follow me on trading view send me uh, an email with your trading view id confirming you have followed me and then i will add it to once i get that email i will add it to your trading view profile within 24 hours so that is it i hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you do uh, hit the like button if you have any questions let me know in the comment section so i can help you uh, understand the setup or understand uh, how i am observing the market here and um, yeah so that's it happy trading let me know how you get on and i shall see you on the next video will over at pips and gains